All right, I'm here with Miss Amber Johnson. Thank you so much, Amber, for making some time for me. Thank you for having me, Tony. So now you actually were the first coach to sign up on my mentor life, and because you were in the you were in the mastermind group that we did for a year, and I announced it to the group, and you joined. So you actually come up, you know, first when somebody hits, you know find a coach. So now what has your experience been like so far on my mentor.life coaching? Like how many clients or not the exact amount, but like what areas is all throughout the U.S., outside of the U.S.? Yes. First, I want to say thank you for even um, providing a platform like this for people like myself and so many other coaches. And when I say, when you say it's the first one that pops up, I, I just have to say that's God's favor um, because I had no idea what it was going to be or anything, but what I did know, um, I had been following you for seven years or more um, when you were not even doing videos, when you were just doing posts with um, quotes with a picture. And I, I connected with your message and you have been pretty much the most authentic person I've seen on the internet and for that length of time. And so, you know, every class that you offer, I sign up for it because I know it'll just make me better. And um, of course, doing one-on-one -on -one coaching with you has really grown me personally and professionally. And it was a blessing and a a chance I took on starting with the mastermind, joining the mastermind group. And again, I did not know what to expect, but one thing I can tell everyone in the world is Tony Gaskins is going to under promise and over deliver on everything that you do. And that speaks volume for your character and your integrity. And so when you brought this up, I said, I've been coaching in health and wellness in a whole different arena but doing the same thing, just a different platform. And so anytime you do anything, I want to be a part of it. And I want to tell the world about it because um, that's who I am. If something works for me or if I find something great, I want to share it with the world and I don't want to keep it a secret. And I think that's kind of what you do too, in a sense, by creating my mentor, um, that life. All I knew was you put it out there and I said, I want to be a part of it. If Tony's doing it, I want to do it too. Um, and that is where it started. And the first month it was nothing, um, but I wasn't promoting, I wasn't um, advertising it or doing anything because I really didn't know where it was gonna go or what to do. And once I, and I, I really, to be honest with you, Tony, I really haven't really promoted it now. Um, the, the clientele that I have gotten have, has come from you promoting. And that's another blessing that you reach people that I can't reach. Um, the first couple of months was kind of slow go on that site and all of a sudden, and, and I think you and I had the conversation about the pricing and yes, I have been coaching in the same area for eight years, but a different platform and you recommended reducing my rate. And I did that in my business during this quarantine. And it was, it was at a point where God was really laying it on my heart to do something for people um, during this time that we're going through. And I reduced my rate and my business, I don't know what percentage, but it, it more than tripled, I think. Um, and, and then, you know, once it picked up, it just keeps picking up. And, and I pray, I pray every day. I pray for my current clients. I pray that God will send the people that I have something that I can share with in, in a way to encourage them and motivate them. And so, um, and he has done just that. And he sent me clients. I, I have, you know, clients in Canada, in Uganda, in Senegal, in Australia, and Jamaica. Lots of clients from other countries that are in those countries. But then a list of clients that are from other countries, and some of them not U.S. citizens, but they're, I mean, they're in the United States, but not even citizens. And so I never would have been able to reach these people had it not been for you and the my mentor life. Um, and it's been a blessing, Tony, because there are a few that I'll have a one off um, and and, you know, everybody is not for everyone and they may have gotten what they needed or they may um, they may 
not have liked my style or whatever um, and not call back, but they are so few. If I had to put a number on it, probably 98% of the people have rebooked. And um, so it's been a true blessing for me and I know it's my purpose and I feel like I'm living more my purpose now because I'm not just reaching people who only need to lose weight or people who need to get healthy um, because you really can't coach people on that until you talk about their relationship and what they're going through in their personal life. So now I can actually reach those people. And so I'm very, very grateful. That's awesome. That is awesome. So now when you, I kind of can remember how I felt when I got my first international client. When you first got your international client and you found out that this client doesn't live in America and they chose me and I'm working with somebody in another country, you know, like, what did you say to yourself? What did it feel like? Oh, I was scared to death. Um, one, I don't know their culture. You know, I had all these fears. Um, I don't know the culture in Africa. I've never been to Africa. I've been to Canada, but I don't really know their culture and what it's like in, in comparison to the U.S. Um, so it was kind of scary um, the first couple of times. But what I, what I realized is that if I'm praying before, my, before I get a client or before I do a coaching call, and God, God will give me what I need to give them. If they're calling me, it was for a purpose and it wasn't by accident. And um, I, I quickly learned that, that I needed to be authentic and I didn't need to have fear about what to say to them. And it's okay to say, I don't know if they ask something that I don't know. I just don't know the answer to that. Um, so it, but there was that fear. I see, I see. Now, how long total have you been coaching, like helping people in their life, supporting them, giving them some advice? Like if you had to put the amount of years that you've been doing total paid and unpaid, you know, how long would you say you've been to others' lives? Well, probably my whole adult life and I'm 46. Um, but, you know, before I started really doing it because the eight years that I was doing it, I wasn't a paid coach. I, I was paid for the products and they received free coaching. So I, I've done that for eight years where, you know, I've coached on relationship on raising children, married and single moms. I've coached on divorce and separation and all of that for free through my, um, my health and wellness company. And prior to that, I mean, I've led Bible studies for women. Um, and I was at one point where um, my ex-husband and I were the couple of uh, the leaders of the um, couples ministry at church. So that's been who I am. And that's what I've done for free. Um, and so it's just a blessing to be able to make it a profession and be living in my purpose and changing lives. And truthfully, Tony, most of my clients, they say something during the, the hour that encourages and motivates me mm. or just, or just confirms that I'm living in my purpose right now. Mm. I see. I see. So now when was it that you took the life coach certification program? When was that? I did it online. Um, before I ever came to Atlanta to sit through the classes with you, I, I took it online and that may have been, 2017 or 2018 i mean it was a few years ago right okay awesome so you've been certified for over three years now. Mm -hmm. and when you first so this year was 2020 the year that you stepped out and said i feel okay to you know charge for coaching to to do this professionally was 2020 the first year was I mean I started I think the process maybe December but yeah I had my first first paid coaching client in 2020. Wow that's amazing and see that's the thing that you know I always try to highlight with every coach I talk to is just kind of to let other people know because there's so many people that feel like they have to be perfect before they start coaching or they have to have everything figured out before they start to support and help others 
And I always tell people it's, it's not really the case. You never, you're never going to meet a completely finished product, perfect person. So when you started coaching, were you still were working on yourself, correct? Oh, absolutely. To this day, I'm still working. As long as I'm breathing, I will be working on myself. And and no, I didn't know anything. I didn't know, you know, I mean, I knew a lot, but there was so much that I didn't know, but I didn't worry about that. I just felt that, you know, even where I am, I mean, eight years ago, when I was close to 300 pounds, I lost 25 pounds. So I was 275 and coaching people on health and wellness. Well, I wasn't fit. And if you looked at me, you'd be like, oh, you're my health coach. Um, but I was still able to help people while I was on the journey as well. Um, mm -hmm. So I didn't wait until I lost 100 pounds to go help someone lose 10 pounds or to get healthy. I just started. Mm -hmm. And that's the key. Um, you know, in my opinion, you just have to start. I see. Now, and as you said, so when you started helping others and you're speaking into their life and you are their accountability partner, did it encourage you and help you just to be sewing into their life? Did it help you on your journey and like encourage you or inspire you to kick it in high gear working on yourself? Absolutely. I don't think I could have done it without putting myself out there first. Because, I mean, it was to a point where my body was my business. And so I was posting pictures of my transformation, which I never thought in a million years that I would do. But I was brave enough to be transparent and say, hey, this is all this flab. This is where I was. And this is my journey where I'm going. And once I had people looking up to me and looking to, for me to help them, it made me stay on, on my game. And because of that, and of course, being around uh, people who are like-minded and um, can pour into you as well. But as far as coaching them, of course, I couldn't just completely fall off. Now, don't, don't get me wrong. I've gained, I've gone, you know, gained a few pounds and lost a few pounds. And so I have fallen off, but I've fallen down, but not just stayed there. And that is what kept me going when I fell down was like, hold on, I have people counting on me to you know they don't have belief yet i have belief i fell off but i still believe and they're i'm they're borrowing my belief and so i have to stay on my game and so i tell anyone if you're on a journey whatever it is whatever you're trying to change or do you got you can't go alone um sometimes sometimes you need to go with some people and that pushes you but you have to have the right people because there are going to be people who are coming along and you think they're, they're wanting to go along and they're where you are and they fall off and you just have to be okay with losing them and keeping it moving. Mm, that's good. That's good. So now the, the clients are coming to you on my mentor.life and you're coaching outside of that with people in your organization that you're coaching and mentoring. So in August, I believe you told me it was August that through my mentor.life, you were booked over 30 times. And that was, you know, the highest this year. So it's growing and we are marketing it more. It's getting more exposure because uh, we just did a soft launch in January. So it's actually your growth is kind of, you know, representing the trajectory. You know, it shows the trajectory of the site as we're still uh, infant. I mean, we, we are eight months seven months old with real marketing so it's good for me to see that in the month of august in the midst of a pandemic you were booked over 30 times now did it surprise you did it kind of catch you off guard yes tony my goal was 20 for the month of august so before the month was half over i had met my goal so yes i was shocked and and very excited about it and just knowing that it's going in the right direction and I must be doing something right. <laughs> yeah. Now, as far as your personal brand, do you, what social media, you know, do you, use, do you post on, you know, weekly? Tony, social media is my future strength. Um, but <laughs> I have Twitter, I have YouTube, I have um, Facebook, Snapchat. I have them all. Um, I 
try to do more on Facebook and um, um, Instagram. Um, and I'm trying to be more consistent with it because yeah, of course, you know, your business goes on even if you're not posting it, but I'm like, there's so much that people could see and it would be so helpful for my business. And um, so maybe we'll, I'll soon be to a point of having an assistant who can handle that for me <laughs> because that's my future strength. But I try to do, um, my goal right now, and I'm gonna just put it out there now, so maybe that'll hold my, I'll make myself hold my, me accountable to post at least once a day wow. on Facebook and Instagram. Wow, okay. You know, that's a, that's a great answer because actually what you, what you may not have realized is you just made my mentor.life look even better because you're not posting on social media, but you're still all these bookings without posting on social media regularly. So that's a great thing to see that you are benefiting from, now think about this, and, and not every coach's success is gonna be the same, not every coach's journey is gonna be the same, but when you think about it, it's like, you know, you're coaching and you're investing in yourself and you're supporting others and the site is, you know, nineteen ninety nine a month, and then you get booked over thirty times in the month of August. It's like I I wish I could, and a lot of times people don't realize that investing in yourself. But it's like I wish I could put twenty dollars on the stock market, and it turns into you know nearly a thousand dollars in thirty days. But when you invest in yourself, then others see, wow, you know what? I'm inspired by her and her journey and what she's doing. I want to talk to her and glean some wisdom from her. So it's, that's amazing for me to hear that it's working out like that. Now, when, as you're coaching, what would you say out of all the sessions that you've done, what seems to be the common theme like that people book you for the most out of the three categories you've put on my mentor dot life um definitely separation or divorce hands down even the ones who put on the my mentor that they're interested in health and wellness within the first five minutes it's about the relationship that they're in mm. and we never even get to the health and wellness mm. or the ones that say because it's health and wellness divorce and single parenting that i i focus on some some that say that they're wanting to have a session about being a single parent when we talk it boils down to the relationship that they're in not the single parenthood so much mm, i see i see now in your bio on my mentor.life do you have in there about going through a divorce yes i think so um i hadn't i hadn't even looked to change it or do anything because it's working and you know i think you said if it's work if it's not broke don't fix it and so when i whatever i put out put there in december i hadn't even really looked at it again but i i think i have pretty a kind of a hit on my weight loss journey my divorce and being a single mom of three wow i see so it's amazing to be able to help people who are going through something that you've gone through and especially, you know, helping those who have gone through a divorce or going through a divorce, because I could only imagine at one time it stopped me in my tracks, you know, I was talking about divorce and I've never been divorced. And a lady put in the comments or somewhere or in the chat, she's like, Tony, have, do you know what a divorce feels like? And I was like, you know what? That probably is a feeling that you can't really describe unless you've gone through it. So ha you having gone through a divorce, you know, where do you pull from when you're helping others in their divorce or separation? Typically, I, I, it depends, you know, each person is different, but I come from a place of going back to eight years ago um, when I was in that space when you know, because some people haven't left their spouse yet. They're still in it and not knowing which direction to go. And so I can really share with them my experiences. And God has humbled me so much during this time because 
I, I promised him that I would speak things that are on my heart and not hold back. And sometimes it can be rough around the edges. An example, I told a girl, I said, you didn't have a marriage. You had a business relationship because the guy needed a green card. So um, it hurt her feelings, but she booked again because I was transparent and honest. And, you know, my delivery was the way it was. I'm just who I am. But sometimes I have to get very vulnerable and share things with people um, that I'm coaching that I would prefer not to share. But every time that that little hesitation or that fear, like I have to say this to this client, um, every time that's happened, it has blessed them tremendously. And then it's blessed me because it let me know this trial or this pain that I went through has a purpose now. Mm, mm, that's amazing. I'm proud of what you're doing, you know, and, and it's, it's inspiring to see that you popped out there professionally this year in 2020 when things are just going really crazy in 2020 and your business is building and growing and you're sowing into people's lives. Now, talk to me about, do you feel like you have lost anything or lacked anything in the fulfillment arena when you change your rate from $100 an hour to $30 an hour? Do you regret dropping it or have you learned something in the process or grown in the process? Oh my God, Tony, <laughs> that's a loaded question because I could go on talking about what a blessing it has been to make less money. But I know there were people that I would not have touched had I still been at 120, 125, I would not have been able to connect with them. And some of them are on their 10th session. Most of them, like, they like their spots. And so it has blessed me tremendously. I wouldn't change it for the world. And, you know, what, what it taught me was, no, I have several businesses um, and I have different streams of income, but it really doesn't matter when you're doing what God has called you to do. And when your heart is there, it doesn't matter what the cost is because then he provides everything else. And so during this pandemic, I mean, this has been a blessing for me financially. I have been in a really good place, even though I reduced my rate so much, but God has just shown up and shown out in other areas and so i know and then the feeling that i have that's priceless i mean i don't have to think about these calls like you know just like talking to you right now i'm not having to think about what i have to say i don't have to research it i don't have anxiety once i got past it and realized that whoever calls me that's who god connected with me and so once i realized that then i'm like i can talk about it's my life it's what happened and so to be able to just pick up the phone and do that, and then in the middle of a pandemic, I'm, be, I'm used to working from home. And so to be able to continue to even make, a, make income while working from home, while having all of my kids and sitting out on the back porch, just being someone's best friend and listening to them and encouraging them and telling them, look, I can do it. I, if, you can, if I can do it, you can do it. And I mean, it's the best feeling ever. And I have I've done you know lots of things in life over the years but never felt that in my heart like I feel with doing what I'm doing right now that's amazing that's amazing and you know what it's going to get better and I almost every person I talk to I say you know what when we're identifying gifts or passions I say what do you love to do and I feel like every person says, help people. And a lot of times we say that, but we don't realize that you actually can start doing it and you never know who you are called to touch. Because I know for a fact, although I coach, you know, a lot of people, I know that I cannot do what you do, that I cannot coach the way you coach and coach on what you coach on because you have totally different life experiences. I've never successfully hit my weight loss goal. So I can't pull from that. I'm still in that journey. I'm still working on that. I was talking about it today, changing my you know, eating habits and eating different. I've 
not gone through a divorce to see what that feels like and then get up on the other side and get better. And, and I feel like every person, you may not have a thousand clients, a hundred clients, but it's like, if the clients you have coached were the only clients you coach, you know, for the rest of your life, they stayed with you. Would you feel good having worked with them and help them and see their growth? Or would you feel empty because you didn't hit, you didn't get to coach a thousand people? No, I would be, I feel fulfilled right this moment if it stops right here. Um, and quite honestly, the number of people doesn't really excite me as much as me working with people on a regular basis. And so it's fun to see, um, you know, one of my clients, for instance, and this go, this, I gotta, I gotta put this in here because this goes to your character and all of what I said earlier. Um, you may not even remember, but a client from Uganda reached out and she was having problems on the site and because of her country or whatever. And you connected us via email so because she was looking, you know, she was looking to um, hire me. And you didn't have to do that, number one, but you did. You connected us and we do calls on WhatsApp now. But um, she hired me and she's been a client ever since. And I know, you know, that was early on. And she has been so inspired by you. She even wrote a book and she has you quoted in there twice because you, you don't even know this, but you encouraged her to finish her book. And so once she did that, I bought her book and was so proud of her and I've seen her growth and she's in Africa. And you talk about the different lifestyles, you know, it's not like, um, someone here um, and divorce and you know the way things are set up the it's different and so it's a big deal for what where she is and the growth she's made and where she's going and I even talked her into doing the life coach certification and now she is a coach on my mentor and I told her I was going to be her first client when she signed up. Um, but now I get all these clients signing up. I'll be doing sessions with all my clients. <laughs> um, but she's not the first person. And, you know, and I encourage them to take all of your classes. But it speaks to your integrity that you connected us um, instead of just, you know, doing whatever you could have done other than that. But and she's, you know, she's making progress. And there are other people that I've encouraged because what, what I realize is just like I have a story, they have a story. And their, their story isn't finished. I'm on the other side of it. But, you know, quite often we see so many people out there who have gone through a divorce and they're bitter. And, you know, and I'm not about, you know, breaking up homes. I have one client, most of the women that call, you know, they're on the right track on going out. But I do have one client I had to tell, you know, you have to, um, you have a good man. You need to work on you. You're the problem. And so, um, yeah, it's just been, it's been such an amazing experience for me. And I think everybody needs to, you know, everybody has a story and everyone has something that they can inspire and motivate someone else. Um, and there are not enough of us who are doing that or we're, we're afraid to be vulnerable. But what I can say is my opinion only before you can really help someone else you have to be in a certain place yeah you don't have to be there but you can't be all broken up and torn up in a hot mess and so i think this year for me with my mentor um it has i've grown to that but the past two years i've spent more money on personal development than i have in my whole life and so i think that's make, made a difference and and I poured into myself, no matter what it was. And you know, if you have a conference in Egypt, I was gonna try to be there um, and was disappointed that we couldn't be in California at that self-love retreat that I had signed up for. That was a birthday gift to myself. That's not something single moms think about spending $5,000 on themselves for self-development, but it's everything. Right, you know what? It all makes sense now. 
it all makes sense now. And I and sometimes I say it, but I didn't really know if I believed it when I say, you know, when you sow a seed, when you invest in yourself, you receive a return. And now it makes sense because I don't go online and just say, hey, visit mymentor.life forward slash Amber Johnson. Like I'm not just promoting your page i'm promoting my mentor dot life but you're at the top of the coaches booked meaning not just showing up first but meaning in the top three most book coaches on the site because now it makes sense like how you are reaping what you've sown because i just me personally have seen you at several of you know my events you came way to Miami when I was speaking at somebody else's event. Then from there, you know, you came to Atlanta a couple of times for events. You took the life coach certification. You signed up for the mastermind program, uh, which was, you know, I don't know, hundreds of dollars or over a thousand. I can't remember, but it was, it was over a thousand. Yeah. Over a thousand, you know, so you really, and you signed up for personal coaching you made the investments and so it's coming back to you and you can actually speak from that place of investing in oneself and a lot of people kind of they want something for nothing and they want people to support them and support their business but they haven't tapped into the space of support and they don't know what it feels like to support someone and to sacrifice you know your own hard-earned money to sow into someone's business as you're supporting yourself. And you did that. And so congratulations on that, Amber. And um, I just thank you. I want to get any, you know, last words that you have for aspiring coaches, people who may be kind of on the fence, feeling inadequate. You know, they've worked on themselves and, and they feel called to help. You know, what would you say to them? Should they take the leap of faith or what would you say? What did you say to yourself when you made that decision? Well, what I said to myself is probably a little bit, what I would say to them is um, take that leap. Yes, do it. Because um, this platform, my mentor, there is nothing out there. I coached a client last week and she said, I was talking to her about signing up for my mentor or, or first doing the coaching classes. And she had paid, she had just paid $6,000 for a life coach certification class. And she was on week two and it was a how many ever week program, but it was 6,000. And I said, Oh my gosh, why'd you do that? And she said, well, because you know, my mentor, they did, um, Tony Gaskins didn't have a payment plan. And so I just didn't have $800, but I had three. And I'm like, can you cancel and just call that three an L and go sign up for 800 with Tony? And she was like, I don't know, but she's checking on it now. Anyways, yeah. So there's nothing, yeah, I know you're still like, somebody actually did that. This is a true story. So my mentor is a bargain. And like I said before, you always over deliver and under promise. And so for $20, and then you're not just promoting, I have not promoted my mentor if it weren't for the promotions that the company has done, I wouldn't be seen on social media. And so just the platform that is there for $20 a month, the thing I can tell anyone who is thinking about it, who's nervous about it, that's what, I don't know my math, but, What's twenty dollars a month for a year, Tony? Uh, two hundred forty dollars. Two hundred forty. Okay. How many people out there are thinking about this that have paid twenty dollars for a black card at Planet Fitness for five years straight and never been into Planet Fitness? So if you spend two hundred forty dollars, this is how I thought about it when I first started. That's two hundred forty dollars for a year. I've had businesses before. I don't know a business that I can have that's going to cost me $240 for the whole year. So one month, literally, or if it took me three months to pay for that whole year, the rest is profit. And, but the blessing that you get to have access to your teachings, 
and I mean, I know you're on YouTube and people can have access, but you do, you go that extra mile for the, my mentor coaches and you do extra for us and nobody, and it's priceless. Nobody can get that anywhere for $20 a month or for $250 a year. It's a no brainer. So if it's anywhere close to your heart, or if you're, if it's in your head and not even in your heart yet, take that chance because everything you listed that you remember that I've done with you, that I've taken a chance on, it was all a leap of faith. I didn't have a couple of thousand dollars hanging around to sign up for a mastermind class, but I knew what it would do it would grow me. And every class that you have on the university, Tony Gaskins University, I've taken that. I have all my clients going over there, taking it. Some of them, if, you know, if they can't afford it, just find a free one. You know, some, somebody said, I said, I don't know how much that self-love class is, but it's not that much. Just go take it. And the girl, some girl said, oh, it was free for me. And I'm like, well, cool, even better. So you pour into so many people. And I think, um, I think that is, you know, why I know you will be blessed and your family will be blessed and your, you know, your children's children will be blessed because you could be that coach that says, I'm the man and you're going to spend 300 with me or you just going to have to hear what I have to say on YouTube for free. But you didn't do that. You made a platform for people like us. And it's not only blessing me and all the other 400 coaches that are currently there, but it's also blessing other people who may not have been able to afford one-on-one -on -one coaching with you. So it's just all the way around. It's a win-win for everyone. Right. Thank you so much for sharing that. And, um, and people might not believe it, but I didn't coach you on that. So if anybody watching this, I did not coach Amber on anything to say that all came from her and off the top of her dome. And um, and you're right. That's exactly why I created it, because I, I don't want anybody to be left behind. The young lady just left a comment. She was like, can you discount your coaching? because $330 is quite a lot. And I told her, unfortunately, that is my discounted coaching rate, but we have coaches on my mentor for as affordable as $25 an hour. And so, you know, you have to start somewhere. And I've been doing this now for 13 years as a professional. And so at that point, I have over 500, 600 clients that I have to service. So I had to continue to gradually increase my rate to kind of, you know, slow down the influx of clients so that I can work with the clients that had already booked me and they grew with me. You know, some of them still have their rate if they do coaching every month. And I know it comes a time to where I remember an NFL player reached out to me and he had read the five love languages by Dr. Gary Chapman. And he said, man, I got a teammate who's going through in his marriage and he wants to do coach. I want to pay for coaching for him with Dr. Gary Chapman. And I wrote in, he was like, do you know him? Cause he knew I coach on relationships, but he didn't want to hire me. And so I wrote Dr. Gary Chapman's company and they said, he doesn't do any one-on-one -on -one sessions. And, and I'm like, even for $10,000 an hour. And they were like, Unfortunately, he doesn't do any one-on-one -on -one sessions. And I was like, wow, I could never fathom not offering a one-on-one -on -one session. But now being where I'm at in my career right now, I'm getting close to retiring. So I'm like, because you know, you're to the point to where you transition to where you're writing books or you are disseminating information to a large group at one time. And so everybody has that journey and it's beautiful to see where you are in your coaching journey. And I know I can just tell by your energy, you got another 10, 15, maybe 20 years before you consider retiring from coaching and just writing books on the back porch, you know? So it's beautiful, Amber. Um, now your link, your URL, do you know it? Is it mymentor.live forward slash Amber Johnson? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll put that in the description of this video. So anyone who is watching this, if you want to book a session with Amber, you can click the link in the description. And if you would like to become a coach, you can look in the description. There's a link there. So thank you so much, Amber, for being here with me, spending this time. 
And I look forward to continue you know, watching you rise and touch the world. Thank you so much, Tony. And I owe a lot of it to just following and watching you and, um, and just being, being open to change. So thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. We'll talk to y'all soon. Okay. Bye-bye.